Giant slaloms on the program now. For the spectators, it's certainly the most unspectacular discipline in alpine skiing. But it could, of course, get quite exciting. Let's just wait and see. The British bookmakers apparently don't have a high opinion of their man. He's got an outsider quote for this competition. So for all those who would like to become rich without any effort, bet on him. He might bring you luck. With this powerful start, he's put himself into a comfortable initial position. I hope he can make use of it. So how do we come, Victor? Not bad so far. Good intermediate time, but still room for improvement. Now there's a firm basis with this third place, but we'll need a clear improvement in the second round to be absolutely sure of a medal. Mm -hmm. I don't know what skiing looked like in the early days, without carving skis and things, but one of the first alpine downhill tournaments is said to have taken place about 1870, I think it was, in Norway. And uh, where exactly did it take place? I think it was in the region of uh, Telemark. Ah. Spectators crossing their fingers really helped. A pretty fast start and an excellent basis for a really good race. Oh, that was very, very close to a crash. Things look much better now. Pretty good performance, huh? Less mistakes than in the first round. That wasn't difficult, was it? Oh, come on, Peter, you're exaggerating again. As everybody knows, you always try to chicken out of the presentation ceremony, Peter. Yeah, that's right. All that fuss and fanfare, <laughs> it's just not my kind of thing. And no one in the team will be annoyed that they didn't get rank one because this second place is a really, really, really big success. It is.